understands that what's common cuisine in one country can be an exotic edible in another. I believe that sharing food is the best way to experience other cultures. So, I travel the world, sampling one tasty morsel at a time. Where else in the world can you find tropical rainforests, pristine beaches, and incredible food? all in one spot. I'm on an island in the Caribbean, but people born here are U.S. citizens. This is the Commonwealth of Puerto Rico. <laughs> no, not eating any of it. Wow, that's fantastic. Good. Did you enjoy that? That's a nice pig's ear. Most of the time, the ears burn. Mm -hmm. But you can see the nose, the tail is still just the same color as the rest of it. It's gorgeous. They, they really know what they're doing here. Equally tasty and rightly appreciated here in Puerto Rico, the pig's tail. So you just kind of gnaw on the end of it. Yes. The blood of the pig must be used quickly, so Mama Morales makes one of my favorite dishes, morcilla, or blood sausage. I've never actually seen this dish made from scratch. First, they clean the intestines. Then, mix the blood with the rice and spices. And finally, the casing is stuffed and boiled. So after boiling away to get that force meat nice and tight, it's going to come out crispy and brittle on the outside. That real great crunchy exterior with the soft interior. It's fantastic. That is the way blood sausage should look. Rio de Janeiro. A jewel of the city, set between the natural wonders of Corcovado and Sugarloaf Mountains. This is where they're cutting, soaking, and cooking dozens of vats filled with every part of the cow and pig. Feet, tripe, you get the picture. That's a nice pigtail. Lucinea de Cuna Nascimento, or Aunt Nea as she's known here, has been head cook for the Imperio Samba School for five years. Now this is what I call a buffet, with each of the almost two dozen items dished up separately. Beans and rice, absolutely. Oh, the dried beef, perfect. A little bit of tripe, beef flank steak, that's the ear. It's about seven pounds of fat and meat. Does that look like a nice light lunch for a hundred degree dance party that's gonna last 16 hours? I think so. Brazilian steakhouses called churrascarias. Churrascarias range from small and cheap to excessive and luxurious. Slight with which Eldorado sliced that away is very, very important. And he's armed to carve everything from beef to pork to ostrich, even chicken hearts. Oh, grilled hearts are great, and I happen to like poultry hearts. I think they have a delicious flavor, and this must come from a very, very good chicken because it tastes of poultry. 